gone live. I cannot tell, honestly. I have never gone live from my laptop. Okay, I think we're live. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, I have been live for about eight seconds. Okay, so maybe you did hear me. Um, I've never gone live from my laptop before, so this is kind of my first rodeo, so I wasn't sure if I was live or not, but yeah, it looks like I am. So, okay, so far we have one viewer. Can you please say hello if you are here? I wanna make sure the comments are working. I know occasionally when I go live in my own group, um, I don't get all the comments for some reason, which we'll talk about that too and how we can kind of try to fix that problem. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce myself real quick. My name is Teresa. I am the owner of Peyton and Piper Boutique. I have been in business since November of 2017. So it will be three years in November that I have been doing this. I am online only. I'm located in Gig Harbor, Washington. So that's about 40 minutes south of Seattle, Washington. Okay, so we have five view. Oh, there's a comment. Good, good. I don't, hello, Angie. Thank you for saying hi. Um, I'm not sure if the comments are delayed. I'm just now seeing this though. So hopefully they're not too delayed. Uh, sometimes they can be. So Courtney asked me to come talk to you guys today, uh, basically about running a group and selling in your group. Uh, like I said, I do have a website. I've always had a website, but honestly, when I first started with my boutique, even though I had a website, I actually did the majority of my sales in my Facebook group. People would comment and um, I would just send an invoice through PayPal. So I believe you guys all have a website, correct? I'm pretty sure you do because I actually I shop via pretty frequently. So and I always go to a website and then it just has your name at the end, I believe. Hi, Melissa, welcome. So yeah, basically that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. Um, any questions that you may have, please feel free to drop them. I think the best thing to do basically is just kind of go through how I run my group and how I keep the engagement up. Um, right now my group is just at just over 2000 members. Um, and the last time I checked my insight, it, um, I want to say it was like 928 were active. That's not bad. Not quite half. Um, so you know what? That brings me to a perfect point. Let's talk about um, active and inactive members. Does everyone know how to see who is inactive? I have my phone here so I can look it up if we need to. So I was really hung up on the numbers in my group. Like, that's not always better because honestly, if they are not interacting and they're not engaging and let's be real, if they're not buying, it's pointless for them to be there. Honestly, they are tanking your, your algorithm and it's making it less likely for the other people who are interested in what you have to actually see what you have. So that's my first tip, as hard as it is. And, and I promise you, like I agonized over this for a while. Like I could not hit that delete button for the longest time, you have to. I promise you, you will see a difference in your engagement. I definitely saw a difference in my engagement. Um, Facebook actually, oh, it was well over a year ago now, they did a change and a lot of people lost over half of their group members, me being one of them, but it was fine because the group members that you lost were not active anyway. So honestly, they kind of did you a favor. And as soon as they did that, I actually did notice much more engagement in my group. But I, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was really hard to see that number drop. Um, what time is it there? Are you guys, is everyone on Canada? I know I'm drinking, it's one o'clock here. I'm drinking coffee because um, it's a little too early for the wine. Well, I mean, if not, but. <laughs> um, do you guys have questions on engagement as far as how to delete inactive members? Does anyone have a hard time deleting them? Because I mean, that's totally fine. I get it. Like I, I'm a, I'm a numbers person. Let me just make sure I'm getting all the comments. So if there's no questions on that, I'm just kind of going to keep on rolling through. It's four. Okay. Nice. And I think everyone are, yeah, the majority of you are in Canada, I believe, right? Um, oh, it's two. Okay. Two o'clock. Angie, where are you? Okay, questions on deleting members. Does anyone not know how to see who your inactive members are? Because I think after I hop off of here, um, I'll take a few screenshots 
and I will post the, the screenshots in the comments on how to get rid of those people. Um, let's talk about bomb squads. I know it's hard to see that number drop. Okay, Melissa just asked, how do you know if they are inactive? Hey, Courtney, how are you? Yeah, I was super nervous when I started, but like now I'm all good. Kind of like just doing my own live. Uh, Melissa, I will post some screenshots of how you can find out who your inactive people are. And also when you go look at your members, you can kind of just look at their names and you know whether or not their name sounds familiar. Um, if they have been in my group for over a year and I legit don't recognize their name, Sorry, you gotta go. Gotta go. Nothing personal, just business. Um, so as far as bomb squads, bomb squad is basically either friends, family, or honestly, even customers. Um, but basically, you go in and you ask them to basically comment on all your posts because Facebook if you comment on a post as soon as, um, it's like I think within 15 minutes, Facebook recognizes that as important and they pump it out to more and more people. So maybe you could get some friends or family, which honestly they should do it for free because they're your friends and family. But if you have to bribe them, that's okay too. Sometimes I'll offer like a 10% discount to have a friend go in and like just tell her every day for a week, will you just, as soon as I post, go in and drop, drop the first comment and just kind of interact. Um, and that way more and more people will see your post. Okay, Courtney says, you wanna talk about how we get regular sales. <sighs> Honestly, it took a long time, it really did. You, it's consistency. And I know you've all heard that before and you're like, oh, consistency, I know, I know. But it is, it's being consistent. Try to follow a schedule. Um, there's so many social media scheduler apps out there that you can work with. And, and honestly, if you're a busy mom, I have three kids under the age of six. And apparently I get to homeschool this year. Yay. Um, and I just hired a virtual assistant. Like I had no choice. And I thought it was going to be so expensive. And she's $2 per post, you guys. That is so cheap. Um, and also I will leave her information as well if anyone wants that. Because I mean, $2 and she'll post to your Instagram and share to your Facebook business page. And that counts as one post for only $2. So I will drop that information. Um, so as far as being regular, Basically, my customers know what to expect from me. For one, in my group, I have pinned to the announcements a weekly schedule of events, and it shows you every day, Monday through Sunday, what you can expect from me, what time I'm going live, what time I'm doing this, what time I'm doing that, anything special that's happening during that week. Um, and obviously, the very first thing up there, one of the first things is how to shop, like in big bold letters, how to shop, and then the link to my website. So you want to do that, um, pin that as an announcement. And yes, so like Courtney's saying, my audience, even if I didn't have that announcement, I have them so well trained at this point, they know that I am going live Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, occasionally, you know, life happens and I have to reschedule. So they know that I'm there at seven, even without that announcement. Um, and the same people are there every week. And, you know, it comes to be like a part of their life almost. Um, it's how they spend their, their Monday and Wednesday nights. They know they're going to be there and hang out with friends. Um, so speaking of when you do lives, you know, you know what I just started doing that's worked pretty well for me is I've started playing trivia in my group. Just over the past two weeks, I was trying to um, pump up my engagement because it is the Boutique Awards voting. Um, it ends today, actually. And so I kind of needed Facebook to push out my information more. So I started playing games. So if you play trivia, like you're getting so many comments, so many comments. So Facebook is gonna show your video to more people. And I played a game of Duck, Duck, Goose. So I had, I can't even, it was, it was like the most comments I've ever had on a live. So obviously more people saw that video because I played Duck, Duck, Goose. And basically like I would say duck and then the next person would say duck and we would just go on and on and on. Um, Angie, it's like I read your mind. What do you talk about during your lives? Uh, we would, so yeah, we played Duck, Duck, Goose and just let that commenting go on forever, you guys. <laughs> Not forever, but like a full day. I would let it go on for a full day so you can get as much interaction as possible. Um, other things I talk about during my lives, 
aside from games, I highly recommend games, you guys. I can't believe I waited this long. Um, it, it's definitely helped me out a lot. So on my lives um, on Monday and Wednesday, Angie, what I talk about is my new arrivals that are coming. So we have new arrivals that come on Tuesday and Thursday. So Monday night, I will go and try them on and say, this is how it sits. This is how it looks on a, a non-model body. I don't want to say real body because that's rude. Um, a non-model body. And they love it. They love to see how it fits. Um, I played the game before I went live, and then I've also played it during a live. You can do both. Um, so yeah, I'll try, I'll try clothes on, and that's what I talk about during the lives mostly. But with that being said, people don't want to be sold to. I know it's uncomfortable to go live, and I know you're probably nervous, um, but you have to do it. They want to, they don't want to buy from a company. They want to buy from you, I promise. And they want to see your personality. So honestly, uh, um, I'll talk about pretty much anything. Like I've talked about things that I definitely would not want to be seen publicly. Uh, so it does happen in my group, which is private. Um, I'll talk about anything. I'll talk about my kids. My kids will come crash the party. Don't worry about being professional. Um, they want to see a real person. And they want to see you honestly kind of messy. Um, I drink wine on most of my lives. Um, so our group, I would say, is kind of, we're not too uptight, I'll say that. There's definitely, you don't want to watch it with your kids. <laughs> so what else do we talk about? Honestly, it just goes anywhere. Like, I, I mean, I talk about family, my husband, um, the fact that we got into this huge fight because, uh, not huge fight, like a playful fight, because someone lost the key fob and we had to pay a couple hundred to fix it. Uh, he blamed me, I blamed him and just stuff like that, just anything. Just don't be too salesy. Um, you can talk about your product without straight up asking for the sale. Just be yourself. Does that make sense? Does that kind of cover it? But for sure, for sure get into the game playing. Yeah, it is a fun group. You, are you, Angie, are you in it yet? You should join. And honestly, guys, if you want to join just to like stalk my group and see what I do and see what I'm talking about, about the consistency, feel free to just drop a comment every now and then though to keep the engagement up. Okay, next question. What other questions do we have? Yeah, so as far as regular sales, we'll go back to that. How do I get regular sales? Keep showing. I know you think people get annoyed, but they, they don't. And not to mention with the Facebook algorithm, not everybody sees your post. I know you think you post something and everyone sees it and you're gonna annoy them. That's not true. Very few people, honestly, I'm sorry. Very few people are in your group are actually seeing the post, especially not the first time. So I keep posting it. Like I will post the same outfit and then I'll, or the same piece of clothing and then I'll go and post it a week later, just wearing it with something different and just keep showing them. I wanna say it is like, Eight, eight times people need to see something before they buy. It's a, yeah, it's a lot. So um, let me make this note real quick because I want to remember to drop the link to that virtual assistant in case you guys need help with scheduling your posts. So that note real quick. Um, and it really is just a trust factor, which is why you have to go live because it is a trust thing. They want to, they're not going to buy from you if they don't trust you. And I feel like we're all kind of the same. You see something on a model and you're like, yeah, that's really cute. I like it, but she's a model. Of course it looks good on her. They want to see it on, you know, an everyday girl. Even if you look like a model, the point is you're, you're technically not a model. So, and they want to see that on you. So yeah, I hope that I feel like that's kind of all I got for how you get more sales is just consistency and just put yourself out there and show people who you are. And because they're gonna wanna buy from you if they like you. And I'm pretty sure they'll like you, right? You have a good personality, I hope. Okay, what's your next question? Courtney, are you still on here? Do you have any another more specific question you want me to answer? I wrote a couple notes of other ideas. Does everyone have a, um, an Instagram business page? I know we're mostly focusing on groups, but if you don't have an Instagram business page, I would also get that as well, because you can share all your posts from Instagram directly to your Facebook business page, not your group, 
you can't do your group yet, but you can share it to your business page. And um, Instagram has this thing called Smart Bio through tailwind.com, T-A-I-L-W-I-N-D. Um, and just look up, or just Google it, Google um, Tailwind Smart Bio, and it'll walk you through how to set it up on your Instagram. Let me see if I can show you real quick. See. And it'll sh link all of your website information, just basically every way people can shop with you just in your profile. All you have to do is click a link and it shows it for you. So, so this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. I post three to five times a day in my group still. So a lot. I find it's not that much, is it? I will post my link. I will. Um, I'm Instagram challenged as well. And honestly, I do best in my Facebook group. I would say that's where the majority of my sales come from. And then they go to my website and shop. Um, yeah, I too have trouble with Instagram. So I just, I do, and that's why I hired someone to do my Instagram because like, I feel like I got my Facebook group down pretty well and you can't be in all, all the places at one time or something, something's gonna, like pick one thing to be good at and then ask for help for the rest. And that's what I've been doing. And honestly, since I hired her, my Instagram engagement is up. Okay, let's see, where's my camera? Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, about Instagram. So smart bio, all these little links right here are links to my website, um, my Facebook group, Pinterest. I can't read all this, but you get the gist. So I would definitely recommend doing that on your Instagram page so people can easily shop with you. And you can even highlight all your posts with direct links to your products, which is awesome. Um, another thing to do in your groups, do you guys do polls? You know, you have that poll option. Uh, I would do that because that I like to do polls before I go live. So more people get notified that I'm going live. Um, Basically, you want to do before you go live, I feel like you should do anything that increases engagement. So ask a question, do a poll, oh, this or that. That is my absolute favorite. I think I always people love to give their opinions. Love it, love it, love it. So um, I do this or that quite often. Um, and I will post a this or that like an hour before I do my live and it will be the clothes I'm showing that night. And um, by then, before I even go live, like I've already warmed up the algorithm, people are already on my group page and like it's already good to go. And then usually I would say it's, um, my viewers are probably double what they are had I not done a this or that before my live, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I do use a text messaging service, Courtney. It is called uh, Postscript. It is linked directly to my website and my website is powered through Shopify. I'm pretty sure you can sign up for Postscript even if you don't run your own website. I just, I don't know how much, um, how much control do you guys have over your back office? Like, can you go in and like add apps to it? Cause that's what I can do with Shopify. Um, Postscript is just a text app that I go and I add it to my website. And that's how I, that's how I send my text, but there, there's plenty of other texting services out there. One that you don't need to do that. And two are much cheaper than Postscript. Um, I was with send text before Postscript and you do not have to have a website for that at all. It is S E N T E X T. I might even have, I'm going to write this down too. I might even have a discount code for you guys. Let me check. Okay. Discount code for send text. All right, I'm gonna have a lot of links to post when I'm done and then show you how to remove inactive groups. Okay, um, I'm just gonna write these notes down if you guys wanna just drop some more questions. Active. Talked about smart bio. Does everybody go live? Is anyone afraid to go live? Because I was for the longest time. And in fact, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about where my sales were before I was going live versus when I started going live. Um, my sales were super inconsistent. 
definitely could not quit my job, which by the way, guys, I quit my job as a respiratory therapist at a hospital in October. And I have been able to completely 100% just do this and afford my lifestyle with this alone, which is amazing. And I'm telling you, I quit my job within one month of starting to go live. If that, if that kind of gives you an idea. Okay. So from January of 2019 to January of 2020, my growth sales wise was 664%. That's crazy. February of 19 to February of 20 was 959%. And so I don't have, when I first started going live, it was late last summer. Um, and I don't have those numbers. I only have, oh wait, yes, I do. Because 19, 20. Okay, all I have in my notes is huge percent. Like, so that means it's over the 959. But that, that goes to show you like what going live does, like how much people wanna shop with a real person and wanna know your personality. So if you are afraid to go live, I'm sorry, but you have to. <laughs> and I know you don't wanna hear that. Um, who is afraid to go live? Cause I used to be too. And honestly, it was just totally fear of people judging me. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee and wait. Thank you, Courtney. Um, Courtney, did I see that you actually just left your job as well? I think you posted, did you post that yesterday? That's exciting. Um, guys, are you homeschooling? I feel like you guys might be in um, better shape than us over here. We're still pretty much shut down. How about you guys? And if you are afraid, to go live time okay yeah yeah I talk about pretty much anything and you know what if you want to be completely honest your first couple lives are gonna suck oh <laughs> uh, I almost want to post download the video of my first life and post it here just so you can see how awkward it was it was so bad so bad but it worked um, it was, it was just awkward. I was uncomfortable, like nothing looked natural. And at that point I hadn't figured out how to try on all my clothes without walking off camera. So I would like disappear off camera for a minute and like do a complete outfit change. So when people would log on, if they, if they didn't catch it from the beginning, they would log on and see like nobody there. So, but, um, I've learned how to fix that. Um, I wear a bodysuit. And then I wear a pair of jeans over it. And then like, I'll put the dress on over top of that and then pull the jeans off while I'm still on camera and try to plan it out that way. Um, well, good, congratulations. Nadia, you wanna leave next summer? Oh, I'm sorry, you have to go back to work tomorrow. So you guys are, you get to go to real school? We're zooming all the way. That's awesome, Tammy. That's so cool. So Tammy, do you go live? Maybe you, maybe you should be doing this video right now. I mean, if you've already replaced your full-time job, that's, that's amazing, congratulations. Angie, you, you did a live and it was awkward. <laughs> I believe it, because it's so weird. And you don't know, like, you don't, you just don't know what Facebook's gonna do. Facebook is so weird. Um, which by the way, if you guys noticed, is it just me? Um, I haven't been getting a lot of my notifications, like even on my personal page, my group. So go through and check out your group. You might be missing um, comments that you do not even know. Um, when you're going live, do you ask for interaction and then wait for the comments to come in? No, just keep, just start talking. Um, I just kind of babble at first about complete nonsense. Um, sometimes I'll have some music on in the background and I'll push live and just kind of like dance and not look at the camera and kind of like, so it looks more natural. And then, and then I'll, you know, just start talking. 
And a lot of times, so I'm a hand person and I need to have something in my hands or I feel awkward. A lot of times I will have a drink in my hand, not necessarily alcoholic, but usually, um, yeah, I'll usually have something in my hands and no, I just start talking honestly about everything. Usually it's, it, generally it's like hey how's it going hope you guys are having a great week blah, 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 blah. this is what I did today what you do today and honestly um there's been so much to talk about lately that it's not that hard to do oh good question should we be going live in groups or personal page or both I have never gone live on my personal page and I know not everybody will agree with that and that's fine. I like to keep my work in my personal life semi separate. I don't really post about what I do very often. And if I do, it'll be something subtle and in, in, in my stories. Um, the only thing I posted to recently about my actual job is asking people to vote for me in the boutique awards. Like that's it. I just don't want to be too salesy or spammy in my personal page. Um, but at the same time, if it's your job, you're allowed to talk about it. You're allowed to be proud of it. Um, so I don't wanna say don't talk about your job at all. Like if you were a doctor, you'd talk about it, right? So um, I, yeah, I've never gone live in my page. Also, I will say, I don't feel, I feel like when you're in a group, there's that like community and that closeness and that trust factor. Um, so, and I think that, especially cause you know, we're all ladies in my group. They don't want just like anybody from my page. Well, that's not true because, hmm. Yeah, I just don't do, I just don't do my personal page. I like to keep it kind of exclusive and I don't want to be spammy to be completely honest. And I know not everybody is going to agree with that. Um, not everybody's your customer. And I, you don't, you, you don't want to alienate people, to be honest. Um, but don't think you can't talk about what you do at all. Just, you know, sprinkle it in, little stuff here and there. Is there a link so you can be live at the same time in our pages and group? Currently, no, as far as I know, unless you have comments sold, which I did have for a while. Um, it's a, and I think you have to have a website and it's expensive, honestly, and they take a huge fee out. So even it's like 6% of your sales. So even if you, even if you could use comment sold, which I want to, you might be able to actually, even if you don't have a website that you have full control over. Um, so yeah, currently it's kind of one or the other, but what I do is I will, Facebook pages are hard. Um, Mine's pretty dead. I do pretty great sales, but yet if you go to my Facebook business page, you would be like, oh my gosh, this girl is struggling. Like there's no interaction, just nothing. Um, I've tried going live from there. It's not that great. So I just go to my group because I get so much interaction. And then what I do is if you click the three little dots up there and then you make your video big so that it takes up your whole screen, you can download it to your pay to your computer. And then I just post it to my page because you never know who's going to see it i mean it's better than not having it there at all but um yeah you cannot go live simultaneously at the same time with uh, your page in your group at this time unless you have comments sold um but they're expensive i actually got rid of them i usually go live in my group but sprinkle my job and my personal page to build curiosity yeah that's exactly what i do too I'm gonna slowly come over. Um, do you guys ever feel like your friends and family are kind of resistant to what you do? Cause I do. Um, like I know, is there a lot on my personal? Angie, that's a great idea. I think that's totally cool to do that like one time to let people know and give them that option. I think that's a really good idea. Um, I just probably wouldn't, me, myself, I wouldn't go live on my personal page frequently. I mean, I go live in my group two to three times a week. So like, you don't want to do that on your personal page, I don't think. Yeah, no interaction on your business page. I know. That's a good idea, Courtney. 
to use two different devices because uh, we were talking about that in another group I'm in and they were asking about going live on Instagram, which I've never gone live on Instagram. And honestly, I need to do that. And I'm being, I'm telling you guys not to be afraid to go live. And like, I'm scared to go live on Instagram just because I don't know them. And like, there's so many trolls out there. And honestly, I'm scared someone's going to be mean to me. If you want me to be completely honest, but that is what everyone says to do because you can't um, go live from both places. So yeah, have one device over here, and one device over here, stream from Instagram and then stream from your group. That would be hard to keep up with the comments though. So Courtney, when you go live, you are saying you do it on your business page and your group, or is one of them your personal page? Is it hard to keep up with the comments? I think, I think with Instagram, that would be hard for me. And I don't know anybody on Instagram. Um, everyone engages in the VIP group. They're your real people, absolutely. Nadia, how often will we go live? suggest to go live a week. Um, how often do you guys get new products in? And question about your products. When you get new products, do you have a chance before they launch for the public to buy? Do you, are you able to get them in your hands to try them on in real life before it launches? Like, can you get something, say something's releasing tomorrow. Do you already have it today? So that, like you could go live tonight and show it. Cause if you can, that's what I would do. I would definitely do that. So honestly, if, as often as you get new products, you can go live as long as you have like a good handful of products to show. Also, you can go live for other reasons. Um, I'm actually getting a puppy on Sunday. I don't know what I was thinking. And I plan on going live Sunday just to show everybody my puppy and not even talk about clothes, which people love that. Oh, you don't get it ahead of time? That's a bummer. But also, you can just, so <laughs> that would be nice. Maybe maybe someone needs to write corporate and let them know. Um, by the time it goes live for the general public and then you order it for yourself and it, it gets to your house, would you say that it's already sold out? because it could still work. You can just show it, you know, like a week later when you get it, depending on inventory levels though. Puppy, yeah. Mm. Just what I need in my life, a puppy. Cause I have nothing going on. <laughs> what other questions do you guys have? How long have we been here? Oh, 30 minutes, okay. Well, this is going better. I was so nervous for no reason. <sighs> okay, good. Good, good. How many releases do they do a week? Um, I have new arrivals every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, I just don't have time to go live the night before every single night. So what I'll do is like tonight show tomorrow's new arrivals and probably Wednesday's new arrivals. And then Wednesday night I'll do um, Thursday and Friday's new arrivals. Good, I'm glad. Also, um, well, totally lost my train of thought. Oh, I give my, my wife's cute little names like Monday Night Live, uh, I know, super original. Uh, Wind Down Wednesday. I also do a thing called Final Few Friday where I take basically my overstock and I get rid of it at a discount. Um, and that's called Final Few Friday. So that's fun, people love that. People love a good deal. How do you get people to engage more in your groups? Ask questions, definitely questions. Um, like I said, people love to give their opinions. Also, while we're talking about opinions, try to stay away from the political stuff. I think you all know that though. Um, it just doesn't go over well. And the last thing you want is people fighting because you know someone's gonna fight. But it's just gonna happen. Um, so yes, ask questions that are not political. <laughs> um, uh, Golden Doodle, Angie, he's a 
adorable. So we're last pick of the litter. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get the ugliest puppy, but that's okay. No puppy's ugly, right? Six and eight pieces, that's perfect. That's good, because it's like not too long. People do have short attention span. Um, one race, one release a week. Happy hour on Friday, that's nice. Yeah. Yep. Wind down Wednesday is my favorite. So yeah, as far as engagement, when I post, hey, here's this outfit. Here's where you can find it. My engagement honestly isn't, it's average at best. If I ask a question though, pretty good engagement. Mm -hmm. Post some memes. Um, also, have you guys heard of the app called Cinch Share? C-I-N-C-H-S-H-A-R-E. You don't like golden doodles? <sighs> um, so anyway, oh, back to, to Cinch Share. I actually, so I, I um, my friend had a Zaya party the other day, and that is how I heard of this, because her host, host it, well, wait, she's the hostess. Who, who's doing the order for her? Um, she used this app and it's a scheduling app and I just checked it out. I haven't signed up for it yet, but they have a ton of engagement photos that you can use and you can, it looks like you can schedule to um, your personal page, your Facebook group, your Facebook business page and Instagram all from one post. That's amazing. You like, okay, you have, it's good. I can't believe I just discovered it. I was like, how did I not know of this? Um, I haven't tried it yet. Courtney, do you use it? But I guess with um, Instagram, it just sends you a push notification and reminding you it's time to schedule it because Instagram is so weird. Not weird, but they're picky, very picky. Yeah, actually, after I get off of here, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go check it out and like learn the system and hopefully start using it because it seems like it might save my life. And I might not even need my virtual assistant after, after that. We will see. You guys got any other questions? To cover everything, let me go check out my group right now, see if maybe I'm missing something. So yeah. Oh, do you guys want to know a good one I posted the other day that got pretty good engagement? Um, I'll see if I can post it here too. Have you seen this one? Can you see that? Ladies, what do you want to drink? And it's like all these really hot guys. How many comments are we at? Oh, 43. That's still not bad though. 43 comments. We should we should use that one. Oh good. Oh, and I guess apparently the thing with since share isn't it looks like it's made more almost developed more for actual Facebook parties. So that would be great for you guys because you host a lot of parties, right? I mean, I don't post any I don't do parties, but and even I was like, wow, this is a really great app or so it appears to be um, still have to investigate it more. And I guess it's what 10 bucks a month, I think, for the paid version. Well, if you think I covered a ton, I don't really know what else to talk about it, but I'm more than happy to hang out and see if you have any other questions. My coffee's cold now. Talking too much. So yeah, your next live, try doing a game and just see how much more engagement you get. In fact, oh, also in my planner, I have out planned, I have written out what national day it is, like national so-and-so day, national cupcake day. Um, I have that written out in my planner. So today, for example, is national matchmaker day. So you can do a post like that. Like if you're ever not sure what to post to get engagement, just look up what national day it is. I do that a lot. And then ask a question. Oh, oh always ask a question in your post or always have a call to action in your posts. Um, uh, the most simple one that I will do is like click here 
to see this or buy this or I don't say buy, I never say buy. I'll like say click here to shop the look and then have my link below. So that's a call to action, but even better than a call to action would be to ask a question. So they're forced to answer you and therefore upping your engagement. Um, tomorrow is random acts of kindness day. Maybe you could give away like a $5 Starbucks gift card and say, hey, tag your friend who also deserves a gift card. And then if you guys are willing to like give a gift card to those two people. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, Wednesday is National Coconut Day. Thursday, okay, so Thursday is World Skyscraper Day. So my plan for tomorrow night's Wind Down Wednesday is to do trivia. And the trivia is gonna be about skyscrapers and skylines, like what's your favorite skyline? Drop a picture of it, blah, 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 blah just to get comments going. Um, and then Friday is National College Colors Day. So I'm gonna feature all of my game day looks, like all my sports stuff that we have coming out. Um, we have a cute one that says, wake or wake me up when sports are back, I think it is. I'm not a sports girl, but they don't need to know that. So yeah, stuff like that. Oh, National Read a Book Day is on Sunday. So post what book you're reading, even if you're not reading a book, and then ask them, what are they reading? And that should really up your engagement. And if you do that every single day, ask some kind of question, I, I really think you'll notice an increase in your engagement. Where do I find the national day? You can Google. Um, I am a member of the boutiquehub.com and there is a Facebook page. And every Sunday she, she posts um, what the national days are. Courtney, you can just um, go into my group and take my post if you want. And then like tweak it to say what you want it to say. So you don't have to Google it all. Yeah, when you if you're in a pinch and you're like, oh, let's post. What day is it? What national day is it? I also like to do Monday mornings before I post the new clothes that are coming Tuesday. I will usually, not every Monday, because I want to vary it a little bit. I will go in first thing in the morning and I will post blah, 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 whatever. Show me your favorite picture you took this weekend. And you know people love to show pictures of their kids. So you'll get a ton of comments that way. Then once those comments start rolling in, then what I'll do is make another post showing all the new clothes that are coming. Um, and then all those people that just commented with a picture of their kids are gonna see that post. That's a good one. That's one of my favorite ones too. So yeah, I hope, I hope you got a lot of good ideas. next? What's next? Okay, I'm going to wait for one more question and then I think I'm going to get going and drop all these links for you guys. And I'll post um, some, I'll, tr I'll try to give you that engagement photo. That one about um, what are you drinking? All those guys. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> okay, I am gonna go. Thank you so much. And I will check these comments though. So if, I mean, if you have another question, just drop it and I will respond as soon as I can. Thanks so much for having me. You guys were fun and so nice. I was nervous for nothing. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.